I'm your host, Bastion. This is uh, Muscles and Mana, um, which is obviously just a little pun or wordplay with the title of this Twitch stream. I'm very tired, and I'm so sorry, I just woke up, um, which is why I've got my tea here in my nice little Mario work pipe mug. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Um, yeah, we're playing Sword of Mana, so... Let's get into that. Um, oh yeah, I meant to change the volume on this thing because it's a bit ridiculously loud. So one second while I lower the volume. Can I just lower the volume with this? Oh well, yes, I can. That's pretty magic. Now you might be able to hear me and the sound at the same time. That would be great, because as you, if you've watched the previous video, you'll notice that wasn't necessarily the case. And if you watched the previous two videos, uh, which, which you didn't because <laughs> I scrapped them, um, you'll notice that the audio quality for those was so horrible I couldn't post them, so uh, yeah, those went into the trash. Um, so that's a little unfortunate that the first two videos of this streaming series, because what I'm doing typically is I'm recording at the same time as streaming, um, so that way I can put some of this up on YouTube if it's halfway decent. Uh, why can't I read the sign? Oh, skill there. Yeah, that's what I'm on. But anyway, so I recorded two, three sessions without ever checking the audio in the first two. And then I finally got around to checking the audio last night. Uh, last night I was going to record another session, and I went to, to finally listen to the audio from the first two sessions, and it was terrible. Um, but I suspected it probably would be because uh, I was using a different pair of headphones, which happened to have why can't we hurt this flower? That was weird. Um, anyways, the pair of headphones that I had been using previously happened to have a mic. You know, there were those kind of headphones that have like a little mic right here. So there was already a mic picking me up, and then another mic that was at a slight delay, so it created this horrifying situation of, of echoing. So, uh, yeah, that was not usable. It was pretty bad. And in fact, things got out of sync because one of the mics was starting to progressively pick up the audio slower and slower and ugh. So those first two sessions are gone. And actually, I thought at that point, oh, I'm probably just going to scrap this series altogether and not post any of it on YouTube. But then I heard that I finally, when I started wearing these headphones, finally fixed the situation. So that's good. I've got tons of gumdrops. No chocolate lumps, but I don't really need any. One magic walnut. Prestige herb, stardust herb. What does pres Presto Veggie do? I can't remember. I've got three angel grails. I had no idea. Okay, I think I'll try to save my money for now for when I get into a town. Because um, I've got enough stuff from there that I'm not too terribly concerned about. But anyways, the chat is open and I can read it just fine, so if you guys have anything you want to say or ask me, feel free to do so. I can see it A-OK -okay for once. Yesterday I was having a really horrible time uh, getting my other laptop to connect to Twitch. I don't know what that was about. So for the longest time I couldn't see any of the chat, but now it's working just fine. Oh, treasure chest. There, Rose. Darn it. But I get a gumdrop out of it, so that's good. Okay, here we go. It's a scaly lair. Doesn't look that pretty, does it? 
Hey, JP Carv Carval, Ho 404. Welcome! I assume you must be somebody from my channel. What was your name over on my YouTube channel? Now, if I remember right, this stuff is poisonous or something? No, I can't even get into it, so never mind. Oh, right, I have to use one of her magic spells. I can't remember which one, though. Uh, well, whichever one that was clearly wasn't working, so let's switch it to... Whoops, no, 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 don't cast a spell. So let's switch it... No, stop it. Okay. I don't remember which button, okay. Spirits. All she's got is Wisp? That doesn't make sense. We have, uh, oh, is it a situation where I, it's a spell I can use? Oh, she's got Wisp, I've got Salamander. Okay, I'll go ahead and use Salamander on it then. Is that the right button? No. That didn't work. Oh dear. Uh-oh. I don't know what to do now. Pretty sure that I was supposed to come to Scaly Lair and use a spell on that thing and break it open, but it doesn't seem to be working, so I'm totally not cheating right now. I'm definitely not looking up a walkthrough. Why would I do that? Let me try another thing really fast before I even do that. Let's see here. No. So she has already tried Wisp. I've... Could it be a weapon that I'm not using? Like maybe an arrow? Maybe I'm supposed to use my arrows. I swear they specifically said a weapon, though. Yeah, no, it's definitely not. Uh, let's see here. Well, I'll try fire one more time. Well, that worked just fine. Why didn't it work before? Oh, well. <clears throat> I didn't end up needing to use a walkthrough after all. That's pretty good. Ah! I've been midged or something. Is that the word? How do I turn back? How do I turn back? How do I turn back? There we go. Even though I have played this game, it's been a very long time, so I really don't remember too much of the ins and outs. Or actually, I guess that's not really true. I did once start playing this as a Let's Play series back on my YouTube channel a couple years ago. Um, but then I... Stopped because I thought doing let's play type stuff wasn't for me. Which is weird because now that's basically exactly what I'm doing. But by the way, <clears throat> excuse me, wow, I'm still very tired. Um, people who are watching, if you could let me know how the audio is, I, I'm still a little worried now that I had that horrifying experience of finding out that the audio from the first two streams was abysmal. Okay, I guess the only exit point is through here. I forget what these enemies' names are. I used to be, like, obsessed with knowing where all the names in the Mana series and the Zelda series are, because they're always pretty interesting. 
and the Dragon Quest series. The names of the enemies in Final Fantasy series, however, are not nearly as bizarre or unusual. Yeah, I think I need my bow for that guy. Yep. Oh, this must be the dungeon we get the hook shot. Or, I'm sorry, the whip. I mean, I'm, I'm teasing this game because this game obviously came out after A Link to the Past, which is the first time we saw Zelda have a hookshot, but this game is a remake of a game that came out before A Link to the Past, so... and it had the whip that acted like the hookshot that we know and love today, so... Actually, a Zelda team stole the concept of the hookshot from the Mana series. Or maybe there's yet another game that predates both of these. I am not seeing uh, how, where to go. I can't jump on any of these lily pads. Okay. Did I miss something over here somewhere? I don't have the whip yet, so I can't possibly go over there yet. I much prefer my sword. Die. Okay. What the heck am I missing here? Okay, well, back we go and see if there's something else. Some other path that I didn't quite notice. Is there something over here? I love leveling up for two reasons. Reason number... Gosh darn it, just die already. Wow, her little staff thing is pretty much useless. No wonder why she's not doing so well. Okay. Anyway, back to the hero. Anyways, I love leveling up in this game because you also get all of your HP back, which is nice. A class change? Now I'm officially a fighter. Okay, is it possible to jump down here? No. Oh, a treasure chest. Yeah, I'm not sure why some of the enemies turn into skeletons that specifically look like bovine creatures. I, I mean, I guess they just developed one graphic for all the enemies, and then some of them they feel like, well, this one doesn't make any sense to have bones in it. Even though you wouldn't think that thing would, but why do they all... Okay, this is different. I didn't see this meta ball before. What weapon do I have to use? Oh, the sword. That was easy. Okay. Where to go now? Oh. So there's one exit, anything over here, a second exit, anything up here, looks like once I've got the hook shot, I mean the whip. Uh, I'm just gonna skip. Is this the whip? No. No it is not. Maybe it's through door number two. Whoa! What, what just happened? I, I fell down? What? 
something's here. Well, yeah, these guys, we can see them with our own eyes. Oh, it's Captain Duck. Why can't I walk? Okay, there we go. Oh, I received a flail! Awesome sauce. Okay, let's switch to that. Now I can hook shot all over the place. For instance, up here. Very Zelda-like to provide you with uh, an immediate use for the new piece of equipment you just got. Can I flail these guys? Sweet! No longer have to switch my otherwise useless bow. Was there a place down there? No, I don't think so. Of course, it's very weak in comparison to my sword, but oh well, I don't care. It's more fun to use. J.P. Carvalho says the flail is his favorite weapon in the Mana series, and yeah, it's a lot of fun, especially, um, I mean, my first experience with it was the whip version of it in Secret of Mana, which was pretty cool. Ah, this, this is not working. Okay. Here we go. Can I reach anything from here? Oh, I can. Whoops. Let's kill the slime ball. Okay. Now where are we? I just like killing the enemy so much that I know I'm wasting my time. I'm sorry, guys, but I just love killing. That sounds terrible out of context. Okay, that didn't go where I thought it was going to go. I'll have to go up here, which I can get to from over here. Good, a treasure chest. Yay, an angel grail. Okay. Oh, I guess there must be an enemy over there. She's attacking it even though we can't see it. Let's use our super powered up whales. Oh, well. I think I said whale instead of flail. That is how tired I am right now. Good morning, everybody. Oh, good. I think we're at boss battle time. And if he's the boss that I remember him being a... I'm not sure that Flail is the most useful. What is this? This mirror gives off a strange light. Let's take it back and show it to Miss Isabella. We received the moon mirror, but of course that awakens a triple-headed dragon? Double-headed dragon? If I remember right, is that the one that we're at? Yep. Here he comes. How is the HP situation? I've got tons of gumdrops, so I'm just gonna gumdrop it up soon, I think.
Yay, we got rid of one of the heads. Oh, or not, it's back. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and gum... Oops, I transformed into her. Let's gum drop it. Yeah, my flail skill went up a little bit, so I'm not going to suck so badly anymore. Hi, Icha Booty Cheeks. Oh boy, that is a fun username. Yay, we killed him! I wasn't too terribly worried. I felt like I was probably a little overpowered. Oh well. I am quite sleepy, but that's why I've got my tea here. Isn't there some clean water near Skelly Lair? That's right, let's find a clean spring around here. I don't know, it all looks pretty putrid as we were approaching. So are we seriously going to walk through the whole cave all over again? Is that what we're doing here? Surely not. No, if I remember right, there's like some extra door that opens up that takes us right out of here. Okay. Bokari. Um, let's see here. I just want my flail skill to be up super high so I can just always use it. I love it so much. Okay, I think there's a new exit through this way down here, if I remember right. Oh, leave me alone. I just want to kill you is all. Come on. There we go. Oh, damn it, I missed a treasure chest. Oh, or not, but maybe after I come down here. No, no exit down here. Well, I totally misremembered that. I think I'm thinking of Final Fantasy Adventure, which is the game that this is a remake of. And uh, even though it's a remake, it's heavily, heavily changed. Like, the dungeon design is completely different and stuff like that. The basic concept of the game is the same. Ooh, a treasure chest. It's the legend! Good to see you back, my friend. Okay. Oh, these enemies are back, and I can't help but to want to kill them again. I mean, I've never been diagnosed with OCD, probably mostly because I've never gone into a doctor and said, I think I might have this issue, can you diagnose me? But, and, and I, you know, people throw around terms like OCD kind of flippantly, so I, I really don't think I have actual, factual, like, high-level OCD where I've got to touch a doorknob five times or whatever, but I... But if there are enemies, I don't know what this thing is called, but if there are enemies on the screen, I just have to kill them. I just have to do it. Even if I've just killed them already, if they respawn, I'm like, well, I guess i got to do it again. Okay, there's nothing to do here. Well, that was pointless. The legend... You oh, you went to Ohio for a few days. That must have been fun. What was that for? Huh, there's a treasure chest up here. If I'd been here before, you'd think I would have seen that. Okay. 
So really, I end up kind of playing the game with myself, where I try to exit a screen before it can respawn the enemies, so that way I don't feel compelled to then kill them again. See, that flower just simply existing over there is bothering me and makes me want to go all the way around and kill it, but I'm going to be good. I'm not going to do that. Ooh, your brother works at Cedar Point. Um, I've never been to Cedar Point, but I'm a sucker for theme parks and especially water parks. I just went to a really awesome water park uh, not too terribly long ago. Uh, here in Portland, Oregon, we, we do not have water parks because uh, apart from the summer, it's barely sunny. This summer has been ridiculously hot and dry. We, I, I don't remember ever having triple digit degree days in the past here. Uh, I grew up here and it has been, there were how many days in a row? Like four or five days in a row we had above 100 degree weather here, which is too much for me. I can't handle it. What is going on? What the hell was this room previously? Um, but anyway, so as, as a result, we don't, since we, that's not typical, we don't have uh, water parks here, but uh, I went to help uh, some people move recently who live up in... Oh, I see. I'm supposed to go this way. Wait, no. That's the way I came from. Is this not the exit down here? It feels like that should have been the exit. Um, anyways, I went some, to help some people move who lived in Spokane, Washington, and that is close to a water park in Idaho um, called Silverwood. And... I had been to other water parks before. There's a water park up in Federal Way, Washington called Wild Waves, which I've always loved and always would make a point of going to once a year, but now that I've been to Silverwood, Wild Waves seems kind of... kind of silly. Um, yeah, I'm not sure that I'm supposed to be going this way, because I remember killing this guy before, and in order to get through the level, and of course right now I'm trying to get out of the level. I guess I could just use my freaking magic rope. I guess maybe everybody is saying, well, you just use your magic rope. Okay, what's up here? Is there a way to go from up here? No, this is where I came from. Okay, I'm probably just going to have to use my magic rope, huh? Yeah, I would not uh, survive very well in Arizona. Um, when I was a kid, anytime it would get like above... What's happening here? Is she getting brutalized by a flower? She is. And she's dead. Hilarious. Um, anyways, when I was a kid, anytime it would get like above like 80 degrees, my mom would go into hibernation mode. She would barely be able to function. Is this not an exit? Here, let's... If this is not an exit, I'm just going to use the magic rope. Um, but my sword doesn't work on these slime balls. Anyway, so yeah, my mom... And I would always be like, what's wrong with her? It's awesome. 80 degree weather is amazing. But the older I get, <laughs> the more I'm like, Ugh, I'd just rather it be like 72 degrees. And it's not just like, uh, oh, that's what I would rather. It's more like I find I'm not really able to function very well if it's above 80 degrees myself. Like, I just want to turn on the AC and do nothing. Okay, I'm leaving. Except I think this took me <laughs> back to the boss. That surely can't be the case, right? But a Cedar Point... Cedar Point is just a straight-up theme park, right? It's not also a water park. 
Yeah, this is the boss. What the heck? Oh boy. Oh boy. The whole point of the magic rope is it will take you out of the dungeon, not to a mana goddess statue. Well, at least it brought the girl back to life, so that's a good thing. Well, worst come to worst, it's it's already past the the point where I thought I was going to have to call it quits for the stream, and I was wondering, like, oh, I've got some extra time, what am I going to do up until that point? Well, we've passed that point, so <laughs> once I get out of here and find a place to save, then we're going to call it quits for the stream for the time being, because I've got to go take the dog for his W-A-L-K. And then I've got to get ready for the gym. Cedar Point is both. Well, I must go there someday then. Because I am a sucker for water parks. I don't know why water parks more so than theme parks. Or more so than, like, roller coasters. I mean, I love roller coasters, don't get me wrong, but... For some reason, water parks. Speaking of the dog... Hello! Hi. You can see the top of his head, probably. Hello! Hello! It's not time for what you think it is time for just yet. Oh, there was a treasure chest. Oh boy. Well, at least I'm gaining some levels or something, right? That's the one thing about this versus Zelda, is you level up, so the more enemies you attack, the... Oh, crap. The more useful it is. I know, I know, but it's not time yet, puppy. He's chasing his tail behind us right now. I think he has a, a watch somewhere where he can tell that it's getting close to the time. He's got a pretty specific schedule because I like him to know when it's appropriate to think that it's time to do certain things and when it's not. And one of those things is his WALK. Or it could be actually, <laughs> I'm just now realizing I forgot to feed him this morning. That's probably what it is. I really should go do that. If I don't find my way out of this cave in like five minutes, I'm going to have to go do that. See, what the heck was the point of this? I guess that was just a way to get up there. Okay, well, let's just double check this. Wait, what? No. There's an exit there. No other exits except down and from the side. Wait, what was this place again down here? Oh, yeah, that was from nothing. So then up here is the way I came from. So the only other exit is up here. How far am I in the game? Um, not very far. Uh, you can kind of tell how far you... It, it's kind of like Zelda, like, you can kind of tell how far you are based on how many of the mystical items that they say, oh, you need to collect seven of these things in order to open the door to the, the holy world or whatever. It's kind of like that, whereas this is collecting the water... The, the various spirits. Um, so, so far I've got three. So, and I think there's a total of seven? I think, if I'm remembering right off the top of my head. Um, so that being the case, maybe a little less than halfway? But, I mean, that's not exact, because I'm sure there are situations where it's like, oh, and then, okay. There's that door up there. 
What's down here again? It's that meta ball, and I swear I don't need to go through him in order to get anywhere. And this feels like this should be the exit right here, but it is not. What the heck am I missing? Go left in this map, then up. Yay, I've got people looking out for me. Okay. So I assume you must have posted that when I was already here. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I shall go... Oh. There is no left on the screen, so I wonder which screen it was that I was on when you wrote that. Because I kind of didn't uh, notice. I'll assume that it was... This one? Let's just go up from here and see what happens. Okay, this is looking right. Yeah, and then down here is the exit, I bet. This seems correct. Yep. Well, thank you very much for your help, JP Carvalho. Now let's find a frickin' mana goddess statue and save. So I can go get that dog fed. And walked. Today starts, uh, I switch up my workout routine, I don't know if anybody cares about this, but I switch up my workout routine every month, um, because you really should do it like every six weeks, but I figure I'll just jump the gun a little bit and, and do it every month, plus it's easier to remember that way. So this particular month is push-pull, which, um means that on day A, I do exercises that only involve the pushing muscles. So those are things like the triceps and the chest. Um, and then on day B, I do pull muscles. So those are things like the biceps and the back. And I also put calves on that day too. Yeah, he is getting very restless. He knows that Something's not quite fair. Sorry, puppy. Where the heck is the mana goddess such? I swear there was one, like, right next to this cave somewhere. Ah, good, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save. And end the stream. And I'll see you guys probably around, I want to say, 1 p.m. Pacific time. Probably about that time. So, see you guys then. Bye.